Carpe Seuss, DFW Roadkill and I finished with the hogs in the weed field and headed off across the property to look for hogs elsewhere when we came across hogs in these cattle paddocks. Initially we spotted them from about a half mile out, got out and started to approach them from the road. However, as we got closer each time, the cattle would spook and they would push the hogs further away. And we never got closer than a few hundred yards distant. So we decided to drive around to the back side of the paddocks and make the approach from the other direction. So what you're going to see here is about two hours of stalking condensed down to a few minutes as seen through both the Mark II and the Zeus III thermal scopes. One of the primary differences that you should pick up on is that the, with the Mark II you see a lot more detail of what's going on in the environment whereas with the Zeus III you tend to see a lot more detail of what's going on with the hot objects. Now this backside approach took us nearly an hour. We crossed several cattle paddocks that were full of prickly pear cactus and we had to cross several electric fences that we belly crawled underneath in order to get past. Our goal was to get to the fence that you see here so that we could get as close as possible to the hogs in order to make our shots. Here my concern was that while the wind was in our favor we had a bright moon and that I figured we could easily be seen. I could see the hogs and the cattle without using my thermal devices. Notice the detail of the cocklebur plants that you can see here in the foreground. By this time we've been standing at the fence for several minutes under the bright moon, scanning the hogs and the cattle, picking safe directions of fire, and trying to figure out specific individuals that we want to take out. The problem was the cattle were not agreeing with us and they kept moving through the hogs, scattering and redistributing them several times. Here DFW Roadkill has selected two individuals and we're just waiting for the smaller hogs in the front to move out of the way. And here's the same sequence through the Zeus 3. As we waited for the little hogs to move out of the way, a recurring problem happened yet again. One of the hogs eventually broke from the group and moved to my side, so I stayed on him, and then it was just a matter of waiting for DFW Roadkill to select his hog. I went ahead and zoomed out to get a better view of what was going on in the area around the hog. There was only one cow, so it looked like I had a fairly clear field of view and uh, should be ready to go when the time came. Okay, tell me when you're home. You ready? One, two, three. Good one. Here I'm realizing I have way too much magnification and the cows are getting in the way and I don't have a good field of view. So I punch the buttons to zoom out. After all of that, DFW Roadkill's hog had gotten up and had hobbled away, but stayed in a direction that was unsafe to shoot. And these hogs had actually moved closer to us, stayed in a group with cattle behind them, and we could not shoot at them. So here's a view from the Mark II, and here's the view from the Zeus III showing the same hogs.